hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be unboxing the may 2018 boxy charm box and i may be doing some try ons too depending on what's in the box so before we get started if you are not already subscribed to my channel i hope that you would consider subscribing and also make sure you click on the notification bell so that you'll know as soon as i upload a video so with that being said let's jump right into the box this is actually my second boxycharm subscription i started last month april 2018 and i meant to do an unboxing for that one because it would have been like my very first boxycharm but I got so excited, I forgot, and I just opened the box, so. But anyway, we're gonna open this one and see what's in here, so. This is, in case you're not familiar with BoxyCharm, this is what the boxes look like, and the subscription is $21 a month. I used to do Ipsy, which was $10 a month, and even though BoxyCharm is um, twice the price, I already think it's worth it, because with BoxyCharm, you get five full-size products as opposed to Ipsy, which gives you um, five samples. But like I said, Ipsy is cheaper, so it's not like it's overpriced, but I just like the fact that you get um, five full-size products with BoxyCharm. Okay, so first up is a little card that says Boxy Bash on it, and it looks like a bunch of um, coupon codes, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. This is just telling you what's in the box. Okay, so I'll hold on to this so that we can go over everything. I'm actually going to use this to fan myself too because I'm burning up. All right, so the first thing that we have is a brush. This is from Aesthetica, and this is the P12 brush. I've never heard of Aesthetica before, that brand. Um, this brush actually feels really nice and soft. Um, let's see here. This is the P12 face brush and with, synth with synthetic fibers that allow for maximum control, the P12 face brush is perfect for creating a seamless look. This one retails for $27. So already just with the brush, you're getting your money's worth with the BoxyCharm subscription. I will say, however, I mean, the brush, the bristles, they feel nice and soft, but I feel like this brush, it like it doesn't feel like it would be worth $27. Like it doesn't have like a whole lot of weight to it. It just feels like, um, like it would be less expensive than that, but it does retail for $27. Next up is, this is, this is also from Aesthetica and this is a three piece, a three piece brush Gosh. they put each individual brush in its own plastic wrap and then wrap that again which is a good thing it just took me a minute to get it out so we have a spoolie and a detailed liner brush and then an angle brush so this is what they look like and <clears throat> The Aesthetica Trio series comes with an angled eyeliner brush, a brow spoolie, and a fine tipped eyeliner brush. A convenient three in one used for a wide variety of looks, from a subtle wing to a dramatic cat eye. Use the brow brush, <laughs> use the brow brush for fuller, more defined eyebrows. And this three piece set retails for $45. Whoa. I don't know anything about Aesthetica, so I'm not gonna say it's overpriced, but I mean, just like with this one, I wouldn't expect them to be that much, but I'll use them and see how I like them. I think that this brush, it looks kind of big for an angled brush. So like the only, I think the only other angled brush I have is this one from um, e.l.f. So can you guys see how much bigger the Aesthetica brush is? I mean, I guess it's good if you have bigger eyes, but I have like smaller hooded eyes, so I really don't know. I don't know, I just feel like, I guess if you're trying to do a wing, I guess I could see. I just feel like this is too big for my eye, but. But anyway, this three piece brush set is, uh, it retails for $45. Next up, we have the Cover FX Blurring Primer. And I've actually heard a lot of good things about this, but I've never used it. 
I don't use um, foundation primer. I haven't used any in like over a year, but I am going to swatch this for you guys on the back of my hand so you can see it. Now, right off the bat, I do really like the color of the primer. I thought it was going to be white, but I do like the color of it because I feel like this has maybe some color correcting properties to it. And oh, it feels really nice and smooth too. Um, on the back of my hand though, it definitely blurred out the back of my hand. If you compare the two hands, this one is definitely blurred out. However, when I was uh, rubbing it out, I did feel a little bit of like balling up not a whole lot, but now that I have it completely blended out, it is nice and smooth. So even though I haven't worn primer on my face in a very long time, I feel like I would try this just to see how I like it. And let me read to you the description on the card. The Cover FX Blurring Primer is a lightweight, soft focus primer that blurs the appearance of pores fine lines and other imperfections creating a smooth canvas for flawless foundation application and this retails for $38 that is a very good price for for getting it in your boxycharm box um even though like I do feel like I have some pores on my face like around my mouth and I definitely have fine lines on my forehead so I feel like I could use this just to see how I like it but I try not to put like a whole lot of layers of stuff on my face so I just stopped using primer um, like a year ago because I feel like my skincare is kind of serving as my primer anyway but I mean I would use this just to see um, how I like it and I do I love the fact that they give you a full size of it instead of just a, um, a sample all right next up we have This is the BoxyCharm Matte Lip Gloss by Beauty Creations. This is what the packaging looks like. Based on the packaging, it looks like it's gonna be a very pretty color. This is what the color looks like. I'm not a huge fan of, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Oh gosh. All right, this is a long wear matte lip gloss. I had another <laughs> I had another matte lip gloss from LA Girl that was absolutely horrible. And like I just what I don't understand what a matte lip gloss is supposed to be. Okay, on the box it says um, the Beauty Creations Matte Liquid Lip Gloss is specifically formulated to provide full coverage that dries to a seamless, smooth, and matte finish. Its lightweight application is long wearing for an effortless lip color that complements all skin tones. I mean, I don't really see how something can be matte and glossy at the same time. But for the sake of the video, just in case you guys may be interested in this, I'm going to swatch it for you. So I'm going to take off this lipstick that I have on now. Just in case you're interested, I will have everything that I'm wearing listed down below. But this is a Maybelline matte lipstick. This is the color um, Toasted Truffle. just trying to get all of the Maybelline lipstick off my lips okay I know that's not the best application in the world, but <laughs> it's setting on my lips really fast. And I hope you can see, let me zoom you in a little bit. Can you see when I press my lips together that they're sticky? That's the same thing that the other matte lip gloss that I tried did. And it, it just like, it just did not feel comfortable on the lips. So that's what this feels like. It feels like I can, you know how you can actually feel a lipstick on your lips? Like it's like, almost like weighing your lips down. That's what this feels like. It just does not feel comfortable at all. 
However, um, this retails for $10. Now I will say, I think I've had this on my lips for maybe 15 seconds and already the stickiness is going away. So probably by the end of the video, it won't feel like this anymore. So let's move on to the next product and then we'll come back to this. Okay. What is this? This is from Pretty Vulgar. Um, I guess this is supposed to be an ink liner and I'm basing that on the feather that they have on the bottle. The bottle is actually really pretty. Um, yes, this is, it's called the Ink Blacklist Gel Liner. The packaging is actually really cute. Um, let's see here. Oh, wait a minute. I have something else underneath here. Oh, there's one more product in the box after this. Okay. Um, the Pretty Vulgar Ink Gel Eyeliner. This highly pigmented gel eyeliner provides quick drying application with enriched vitamin C to condition the lids. Its creamy and water resistant formula allows for smooth application that stays in place all day. And this retails for $24. All right, I'm gonna take um, this detail liner brush and I'm gonna use that to swatch this for you. And let's swatch it on the back of my hand. It is very black, I will say that. Let's do one more. Let's see if I can get like a smoother application. I think I picked up too much on the brush, but let's see. So yeah, that's a much smoother application. Um, it was harder for me to, to swipe it like that, but it is extremely black. And this one here, the first one that I swatched, it did already dry down matte. And this one here, it is still wet, but that's because I put like two or three coats on it, but it does look like it dries down completely matte. And it is very black, it is very pigmented. So again, um, this one retails for $24. I've never actually tried a gel eyeliner before, so I will definitely be trying this out just to see how I like it and see if I can work with it. But I really like the packaging on this. This is really cute. All right, there's one more product in here. All right, this is by Pure Cosmetics. This is called the Pure Sculptor Palette, I guess. Very nice packaging. I love silver, so this is really pretty to me. This is like some um, child-proof packaging, I guess. So bear with me. Ooh, goodness. All right. So this is what it looks like. This is what the palette looks like. I don't wanna show you guys the mirror because you won't be able to see it because of the light, but there is a little protective plastic on top of the mirror. And it says you are the sculptor of your own destiny on the top of the mirror and then on the top it says pure. So I think that's cute that they put a little note on there on the mirror. So what is this palette supposed to be? It looks like a... Um, Oh my goodness, this smells good too. You know how Too Faced um, eyeshadows, the chocolate line, they smell like chocolate? These kind of smell like chocolate. So it looks like it's supposed to be maybe a highlighter and a contour palette. So let's see. I'm basing that off of the colors here. So these two over here are um, shimmery and these two over here are mattes. Um, so the Pure Sculptor Palette. A four shade sculpting palette that features two high beam highlighters and two matte contour shades that will leave the skin sculpted to perfection with highly pigmented and buttery formulas. And this retails for $30. I'm gonna swatch these for you on my other hand. Ooh, it is, it's nice and buttery. All right, so here's the first one. Uh, this is called Originator. The second one is called Trailblazer. Uh, 
and then wipe that off. The first um, contour palette or contour shade is called Inventor. I feel like that one is barely showing up on my skin. And then the other one is called Founder. So that's what the swatches look like. Um, I feel like I could actually use both of these, both of the uh, contour shades, but I would probably go with this one. I just put a little more product on it so you could see it. I would probably go with the lighter one because I feel like whenever I try to contour, it just looks too harsh on me. So I would definitely go with the lighter. But what I'm very happy about is that it has two shades in here that I think I could get away with. And I definitely could use both of these highlighters. But I think between the two, um, I don't, I don't, I can't even decide right now which one I like better because they are both really pretty. So I actually really like this so far because I feel like I could use everything in the palette. All right, so getting back to the lipstick before we end the video, my lips are still a little sticky. So just in general, I'm not feeling this product. I probably won't be picking it up again. I don't like the color of it. However, I could probably use this with a lip liner to make the color look a little bit better on me. But because I just don't like the formula of it, I probably won't be using it again. I don't know. I don't know why they call this a matte lip gloss because there's nothing glossy about it. This is basically a matte liquid lipstick. So I'm not understanding where they're getting the gloss from. So that's my thoughts on this. So overall, I'm very happy with my BoxyCharm box. If you are interested in signing up for BoxyCharm, I don't have an affiliate code with them, but I will leave their um, website, the link to the website listed down below. It's $21 a month, but you can prepay. You can do like three or six months at a time, and I think you can go all the way up to one year at a time, and you'll be able to save a little bit of money that way. So even though it's $21 a month, like I said, just comparing it to Ipsy, this one is twice as much, but you're getting five full-size palettes every month. And as far as I know, they give you some sort of palette every single month. I think most times they're giving you an eyeshadow palette. Um, I know last month in April I got one of the um, ColourPop palettes, but I think it's definitely worth it for the $21. So if you're interested, you can definitely check out the link below. So I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video today. If you did, let me know and give it a thumbs up and I'll continue to do the unboxings every time I get my BoxyCharm in the mail. Um, and I definitely hope that y'all come back for the next upload. But in the meantime, here's a couple other videos that you can check out from my channel. So please watch and enjoy. And I will see y'all on the next one. Until then, take care. Bye, y'all.